Hey everyone, it's Stella here, your favourite royal vlogger. And hopefully the only royal vlogger. Unless the Queen Mother has started broadcasting her rants about show jumping again. After I uploaded my first vlog about hobbies, there were loads of cool responses. Thanks for sharing how you spend your free time. A special shout out to Smelly Feet 92 for your views on high altitude food. I also got tons of questions about my plants. It seems loads of you became plant parents this year too. You've been wondering how to keep your plants alive, what to feed them, do they respond to strong smells and loud metal music? To which I'd say, you let me know, Jim Sock Rocker 05. Now, I'm no expert, but I've learned a lot over the last year. <laughs> what with not having a palace gardener anymore? So this week, I'm going to share some tips and tricks in my first how-to video. Let's chat about how to be an awesome plant parent. First and most important tip, pick the perfect plant for you. Just like people, different plants have different likes and dislikes. My advice if you're a beginner, pick a plant which is very hardy. A plant that thrives on neglect. My top three indestructible plants are cacti. They need a warm sunny spot, but then you can basically forget about them. <laughs> they are introverts who don't want too much attention. Next up is succulents. These are some of the most adorable plants going. Look at these teeny tiny cutie pies. If you want a bigger succulent, aloe vera is a great starter plant. And aloe sap can be taken straight from the plant, like this. And apply to sunburnt skin. Ooh, slimy. <laughs> My third favourite, spider plants. <laughs> They've got a funky two-tone thing going on and they have tons of babies. Buy a spider plant in the spring and you could have a whole family by winter. Then you can repot them and give them to your friends. Basically, when you're starting out, avoid bossy plants. Is your bird's nest fern too high maintenance? Does your moth orchid need to be misted with water? Does your crotin throw a temper tantrum if you move it to a new spot? Temperamental plants are hard work, and no one likes a diva. Speak for yourself. Snowy, out! Okay, so you've chosen your plant. Next, you need to give it a name. Admittedly, I was in a very gothic mood when I named my first plants after historical villains. Meet Attila, the hanging vine. <laughs> Third tip for being a plant parent. Do not, I repeat, do not overwater. The most common cause of death in plants is overwatering. Always make sure your pots provide good drainage to avoid the dreaded soggy bottom. Or you can light a scented candle and give your plants a bath. If you run a few inches of water in the tub and pop the plants in there for half an hour, the roots will drink what they need and nothing gets waterlogged. Simple. Oh, and don't forget to repot your plants after a while. Mikey told me about this. He worked in a flower shop for work experience. He described it like changing your bed sheets. Every so often, your potted plants need a refresher. Some new soil with lovely fresh nutrients in them. And finally, have fun growing something from seeds, like an avocado. I will warn you though, that growing plants from seeds is a long game. If you're in a warm country, it will probably sprout faster. But otherwise, make sure you have plenty of time on your hands. It might be five months before you get to see something like this, one I prepared earlier. What shall we name it? Hmm, he strikes me as a more timer. Well, that's it from me. I hope that this has been helpful and thanks again for watching. Bye.